Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Engine video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to control texture tiling and offset in Unreal Engine. We understand how to tile and offset textures in Unreal Engine step by step. So let's get started. At the desktop, I have T underscore metal underscore window underscore D diffuse map, T underscore metal underscore window underscore N normal map. I am going to import these textures to my project. I right click on the content folder, say new folder, name it as textures, hit enter. And then I select both the textures, drag and drop to textures folder. It is telling texture t underscore metal underscore window underscore n was imported as a normal map. Is it okay? I say okay. Next I right click on the content folder, say new folder, name it as materials, I hit enter. Then I right click here, say create material, I name it as m underscore metal underscore window, hit enter. That creates a material, I double click to open it. You can see m underscore metal underscore window is open in the material editor. After opening a material in the material editor, we are going to set three core material properties. They are material domain, blend mode and shading model. Material domain, I set to surface because we are going to apply this material to 3D surface. Next, blend mode, I am going to change from opaque to masked. If we have completely transparent and completely opaque areas, then the blend mode should be masked. If we have completely transparent, means 100% transparent and 100% opaque areas, then blend mode should be masked. Shading model, default lit, because our material is going to reflect the incoming light. And we are going to preview the material on the plane because we want to create a window. And you can see that the material is getting applied only one sided, only one side. If the material to apply on both sides, it should be two sided. So we tick two sided. Now the material is applied on both sides. You can see that. Okay, that is good. Next, let's apply the diffuse map. Let's bring the texture. Right click and say here texture sample node. And I can select the diffuse map by going to the details panel. Here in the texture, I select T underscore metal underscore D. The diffuse map is selected, you can see that. I connect the RGB pin to the base color because base color indicates diffuse map. You can see the texture is applied, right? But we are not seeing here uh, transparent areas. For that, I connect the alpha pin to opacity mask. Now we can see transparent areas. So you can see we have 100% transparent areas and 100% opaque areas. So blend mode should be mask guys. Let's bring the normal map, right click, say texture sample, then select the normal map, then connect the RGB pin to normal. Now I want to control the horizontal and vertical tiling of these textures. For that, we take help of texture coordinate mode. So in the texture coordinate node, we have U tiling and V tiling. U tiling is used to control horizontal tiling. V tiling is used to control vertical tiling. Okay. So output pin of texture coordinate node, I connect to UVs and this UVs pin. So if you want, let's say I want this texture should be repeated horizontally two times. Then in U tiling, I say two, I hit enter. You see our texture is repeating two times horizontally. If I say three, hit enter, texture is repeating three times horizontally. If I say one, only once repeats. For vertical tiling, we use V tiling as I told. Vertically, our texture should repeat three times. If I say three, hit enter, you can see our texture is repeating three times vertically, guys. So like that, we can control horizontal tiling and vertical tiling using U tiling and V tiling values. So if I say here 2 and 2, horizontally 2 times repeating, vertically 2 times repeating. So 4 times our texture is repeating here. Understanding? So texture coordinate node we use. Instead of connecting the texture coordinate node directly to UVs, I am going to take help of a multiply node. I right click here and search for multiply node and then connect the output of texture coordinate node to the A pin connect the output of the multiply node to UV texture here, UV pin here. 
So here you can see the texture coordinate I set here 1 and 1 and in the multiply node the B constant value is 1. So this value 1 is multiplied to both U tiling and V tiling. At present 1 multiplied by 1 means 1, 1 multiplied by 1 means 1. If I change the B constant value here to 2 and hit enter, you see our texture is repeating horizontally 2 times, vertically 2 times. Why? Because 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. That means U tiling is set to 2. And V tiling is 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. So that means our texture repeats horizontally 2 times, vertically 2 times. Instead of setting or multiplying by a single constant to both U tiling and V tiling, I want to multiply U tiling and V tiling with different values so that I can control horizontal repeating and vertical repeating individually guys. For that we take help of append vector node. So append vector node will take and connect the output pin to B pin here. Okay. And you can see it is asking for two values. Here I right click and search for constant node. I take constant node and connect it to A pin and set the value here 1. And I copy this and paste down, connect this to B and set the value 1. And now you see that our texture is repeating only once, right? Now this is for U tiling, this is for V tiling guys, understanding? So if I come here and change the value to 2 times, horizontally our texture repeats 2 times. Okay, if I set it back to 1, and if I come here, and here if I say 2, our texture repeats vertically 2 times. If I say here 3, our texture repeats vertically 3 times. So we can individually control horizontal tiling and vertical tiling guys with the help of this setup. I hope you are clearly understanding. So this setup helps us to control horizontal and vertical tiling of the texture. Now we want to control the offset also. Okay, to control the offset, we take help of the add node guys. I right click here and search for add node and connect the output pin of multiply node to A here and connect the output pin of add node to UVs. So here and here. Okay. Next, same thing. We want to control the offset in horizontally as well as vertically. Again, I take help of the append vector node. So I say append vector node connect the output pin to B and here again I create the constant node, connect to A pin, zero offset horizontally, right click, constant node, connect to B, zero offset vertically. So we are not offsetting in X and Y axis. Okay. And we are not repeating also. So here if I say 2, our texture repeats horizontally two times, you see that horizontally two times and I can offset here by let's say 0 0.5 half a unit. So if I hit enter, you see horizontally it is offset. You can clearly observe that. If I set it to 0, no horizontal offset. Right? So like that, we can control the offset using this setup guys. So this setup helps us offsetting in x and y axis. So let's make these things as a parameters. Okay, let's convert these constants into parameters so that we can create a material instance and apply it to a 3D surface and see the result in real time. Okay, so let's convert this constant to parameter. Right click, say convert to parameter. So I am going to call it as H tiling means horizontal tiling. Hit enter. I right click on this convert to parameter, I call this as V tiling or vertical tiling, V tiling or vertical tiling, okay. Next this one, horizontal offset or X offset we can say, right click, convert to parameter, I say H offset, horizontal offset, then right click, convert to parameter, V offset, O, F, F, S, C, T, vertical offset. Now they are parameters, so they will be available in the material instance guys. Let's save this. Save. I save the material. 
and I close it. Let's create a material instance out of it. Right click, create material instance. So you can see m underscore metal underscore window underscore inst. Inst means instance is created, guys. Let's double click to open it. So when I open, you see here we have edge offset, horizontal offset, horizontal tiling, vertical offset, vertical tiling parameters available. We can control here horizontally. Let's say our texture should be repeated two times. If I say two, hit enter, it repeats two times. Vertically also, I want two times it should repeat. I say two, hit enter, it repeats vertically two times. So four times you can see here. If I want, I can horizontally offset it. See, our texture is offsetting horizontally. So if I set it to zero, no offset in x-axis. If I say vertical offset, you can see it is vertically offsetting using the offset parameter, guys. So we can control the tiling as well as offset, and we can let's save this and apply this to a 3D object. So I come to here. And drag and drop a plane, and let me rotate it minus 90 degrees, and move it up, and let me scale it like that, and move it up, and let's apply the texture. You can see, you can observe here that our texture is repeating here horizontally two times, vertically two times because it is set to two. If I say here one. And one, okay. If I say here three times horizontally, it should repeat vertically three times. It repeats three times. You can see that, and we can offset it in the x-axis. You can see, we can offset in y-axis if it requires. That's it, guys, for this video tutorial. I hope you guys have clearly understood how we control the texture tiling and offset. In Unreal Engine, I suggest you to try it yourself. Okay, if you try and experiment, you get more clear idea, guys. Okay, if you have any doubts, please put them in the comment section so that I can clear your doubts. If you like this video, hit the like button and uh, share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about Unreal Engine. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep gaming, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.